This track's really good. I like this track a lot. I can't wait until we unlock 1926 music so I can uh, start playing that instead. But, you know, the original Pure Fuhrer music is uh, top notch. Thank you for joining me for this week's Thursday's Weekly Access Stream. My name is Sammy, and once again, I have messed up the intro of this stream. So, it is definitely the Access Games channel. Thank you for joining me once again. We will be starting Gilbert's Route and Pio Fiore Episodio 1926. Well, kind of not really start. I'll recap it. We kind of started it during the unboxing stream. So, uh, pretty much we'll call this like the start of the... Or the start of the route, I should say. Anywho... We'll go over it really quickly. So basically what happens at the very beginning of the route is not too much, but just enough to get the ball rolling, right? We start about three or four months after the events of 1925, AKA Faded Memories. And uh, we see that, we see that uh, Lily is pretty accustomed to her lifestyle now around Gilbert and they're pretty comfortable. Uh, Luca's become Luca's become a, a pretty consistent fixture amongst the Visconti, which is uh, which was very nice. I like that part quite a bit. Uh, and seeing things, life is going pretty well. All right. What happens is that we get uh, we look off to the side. We do the the meanwhile stories, and we see that there's a new character. Yeah, Suda Kenjiro's uh, voiced character uh, Yuan, who seems to be uh very similar to yang in terms of very uh evil and thought pro and uh probably very smart and it seems like uh yuan is angling for something to happen and berlone is recognizing that something is not normal in berlone why is berlone like this why is it special it doesn't deserve to be special because it's just in part in italy anyway he's sort of asking questions he's figuring them out pretty quickly so there's that part happening that is following after uh gilbert's route and gilbert's route in and faded memories basically uh halfway in yang was kind of recognizing that the the home the home group of the lao shu back in china was actually trying to angle to cut yang out and uh he was kind of recognizing that and now uh those things are kind of happening in 1926 now uh, on Gilbert's side, however, uh, we get a random somebody, obviously older than Gilbert, quite a bit, uh, show up and uh, ask to sell some drugs over to Gilbert. Gilbert responds, "This is a, and this is a pretty obvious, like, they're obviously very uh, close because they talk about a character named Amaria who is dead now uh, and Gilbert is very mad when this new character brings up uh, her name and uh, we can kind of make an assumption that it seems like his is dad because he is from Chicago and so was Gilbert originally however um, it seems like he's not a very good fellow as uh, he goes over to Berlone, he tries to offload some drugs over onto Gilbert, uh, just trying to get some quick cash, and uh, it just doesn't work out very well. Uh, we see immediately afterwards that he is very pissed, especially after seeing Gilbert for the very first time in a very long time. He seems like he doesn't really care too much about the reunion, more so that he cared that he didn't get to move these drugs, and uh, seems like he's in a pickle himself. So, that's basically everything that start happens up until now. Um, we get introduced to a couple new characters, but nothing has happened just yet, just a lot of beginning. In the JP profile outright, outright states. Okay, well, I haven't read the uh, JP profile. I am assuming... I think we said this at the at the unboxing stream, but I I don't remember. I am making an assumption that they're brothers, or related in some way, shape, or form, because Yuan and Yang act very similarly to each other. They're both crazy, and they're also both very smart. Uh, so we'll we'll see, right? Um. 
it will be really interesting to see how that goes. That seems to be like a B plot in this. Uh, as opposed to also Gilbert's older person guy, um, who he knows very well. Uh, su assumingly knows very well, we should say. We're making a lot of assumptions here, but uh, I think the assumptions are intentional. Or the assumptions to be made are intentional. So... We'll see how Lily gets roped into this. I'm pretty interested. I'm actually way more interested uh, currently in the Yuan Yang story because that's obviously going to coincide with um, the Gilbert route, the Gilbert at, like the Gilbert part of the story. And um, judging that they included the Yuan Yang story in Gilbert's route. I have a feeling they're going to do something similar with Gilbert's route that they did in the last game, which is they introduced a lot of the love interests to just be existing around. Because at least in this timeline, uh, they've kind of understood that there's a mutually beneficial relationship to not trying to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen every every one of the timelines. Uh in this in this route specifically, uh they've pretty much all decided that working together is uh better than working alone. I'm looking forward to Lover Pretend to be the uh the the fluff. Uh very happy that uh very happy that I was going to I'm gonna get to play uh, an Atome game that uh, very, very likely doesn't have any murder. But it is an Atome game, so murder is always possible. Pushing along the story. More Kubo, is that you? Of course you can come in. For 10k points, we can get Sammy to voice the characters in English. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want me to stand next to Kaito Ishikawa and and Shotaro Morikubo and Suda Kenjiro? Oh my God! Oh. If you you have never you've never said anything more frightening in my entire life. That is the most frightening thing I've heard ever. I think I I I. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, you could just look like the biggest schmuck on earth. Can you make a wisdom save? <laughs> I've never had it put that way. That every time, every time a protagonist in a, a Tome game, it, it may has to make a decision. It's a wisdom save. Just start playing. We're just gonna start playing a Tome games, and we're just gonna start rolling d20s to make decisions. <laughs> oh, hello. How's it going, son? Does he have freckles? Try to, try, try to make sure it's not my screen just being dirty. He has freckles? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Alright, you can you can sit here and learn reading and writing, but uh, you owe me a ruffled hair every hour or so. <laughs> yeah, kids, clown them. Oh, look at him. He likes going to school! <gasps> Ruffle his hair. Ruffle his hair. Nope, you can't go back to it. You can't go back. You're mine now. Unbelievable. They knew they these guys these guys over at Otomate, they knew what they were doing when they made this character. Vicky, I feel like that's like a general uh, that's a general thing you could say about a lot of people in this game. In this series, I should say. Or it's just like, generally speaking, like, yeah, people are pretty cool when they aren't murdering each other. <laughs> now, speaking of... Look, everybody's working together. Look how nice. Introduce Yang into this freaking story. I don't actually... It's not actually... It's not actually mainly for Yang. I kind of just want to see the murder twins. <laughs> <laughs> Lee is just like, yeah, I might be legitimately more scared of you than you want. And he's like, sick, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Barry. You're like, you can pay me in kisses or something stupid. Hey. 
Oh, man. I'll do anything you want. Gilbert? Mm? Oh, Oliver? Uh... <laughs> police 2? They made a sequel to Police? I hope this one's better. Yeah, and everybody likes her. Like, literally everybody. Like, literally, there is not a single person in the entire game in this route that doesn't like Lily. Even Eugene likes Lily, and he just, she just turned him down. <laughs> and Arca Lady number one, she's like, yeah, she's pretty, but, uh, you know, fooling around with the mafia, that's a big no-no, even though literally everybody does it in the freaking town. Like, literally everybody. Like, you have to. They're, they're an integral part of the beginning of this city. It's like, we're really, like, ever since, ever since Lily started helping Oliver with her, with his work, it's like, we are literally, like, one more good thing happening from Lily, like, walking into this part of the house and just listening in to Oliver, Gilbert, and Luca all talking about how amazing Lily is. Look at that. Luca did enough work. He moved his family over. What a king. What a king! We need, we need, Luca needs his, his freaking happy ending, right? Like, if there's no time, if there's no situation in which Luca also, like, and, like, Luca lives happily ever after, like, he is doing too much now. They made this character. He was, he was such a head in, in Faded Memories. He was such just a, a cheeky little brat, and now he's so cute. 1926 Luca is somehow found a way to be better than Faded Memories Luca, and that's like that as a statement is incredible. They disagree. They desecrated ga graves. They tried to kill Sophia, a sister, and the worst part of it all, they tried to abduct Lily. Gilbert. They literally, they've literally killed and attempted murder on a bunch of- The worst part of it all is that they tried to take Lily. Yeah, meanwhile, Oliver is just like, this ain't my problem. Put a ring on her, you're messing up. Jesus, dude. Real sad about not seeing his kid for, uh, for a really long time. <laughs> Eighth, a sacrament. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh. Oh. Brother, this dude sucks. Oh God, this is one of the worst to ever do it. Just new lows. Okay, you know what's the solution? Kill him. He could die. If you just kill him ahead of time, problem solved. Brother, oh my god, I would have sm- Dad or not, I would have hit this dude so hard by now. Dude, Eugene sucks. Holy hell. They they really made a character that just straight sucks. Like, a hundred percent. I'm really interested to see if there's any other route that Eugene's in where he doesn't suck. Because I think, for the most part- Almost every character in Faded Memories that gets a sprite has a route where they don't entirely suck. There's always a route in Faded Memories where the character is likable for every character that gets a sprite. Uh, except for Emilio, actually. Uh, Emilio sucks. Thank you for joining me for this week's stream. I really appreciate it. If you haven't played a video game already, this one's pretty good. Just came out and uh, it's been pretty fun so far. If you haven't uh, played Pio Fiore, Pio Fiore yet, Faded Memories, the one before this one, is also pretty darn good. We are just finishing it up, and I highly suggest that one as well. But please get your hands on something. Enjoy your break. Enjoy your weekend. And hopefully see you guys next week. Have a good one. Take it easy.